This video is going to be how to set your timer. This could occur in lots of situations, not just when your system is new, but this is going to be a good video to resource. If you lose power at your house, this is completely attached to the power on your house. So if you lose complete power, you're going to have to come out and reset the timer. It's just like your alarm clock in your bedroom or your oven or the microwave. Because what will happen is your sprinkles will start spraying at weird times because this time is off on this timer. So what you need to do, what you need to know about the timer is very simply that these are pushed out, these tick marks that run on the outside are pushed out just so that it knows when to spray. These are the times I have mine set to spray. I believe the, the correct time is between two and four in the morning. And then this little arrow right here is your actual time, what time of day or evening or morning that you're messing with setting it. Like currently right now, it's three, roughly three or five minutes till one o'clock in the afternoon when I'm shooting this video. So you basically can just turn this dial, the whole dial, just grab the outside black edge and just start turning it clockwise gently. I mean, you can turn it pretty quick. And as you can see, I'm gonna stop the arrow mark see my sprinklers are now spraying but I'm on right here you can see that says a.m. and on the opposite side of the dial it says p.m. that's what you need to be aware of so you just need to roll a pack of clock across the top of that I'm at seven eight nine in the morning and it's one in the afternoon I need to get to there's noon there's almost one that's about where we were at so now I'm back at the correct time basically these work all the way around to this tick mark and that's what engages your sprinkler to go off and get rid of your black water every morning so they can evaporate because that's what an aerobic system is and is an evaporation system. It gets rid of your wastewater through evaporation. I hope this video helps.